Rated M for Mature. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES and today we're going to do something we haven't done in a very long time. We're going to be fusing a new persona. Yes, we're going to need this sucker to defeat the next Tardian, Tardian, <laughs> Tartarus boss. So let's fuse this guy up. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do a triangle fusion because this specific persona is a little high level. And let's take the Nekomata and here he is. It is Pyro Jack, and okay, I want definitely Dodge Win, and Dia can be very good too. So if you're trying to make this guy at home, use an Apsaurus, use a Nekomata, and use an Alp. If you can't find Alp, I'm sure there's other um, replacements you can do. Now, Dodge Wind is a mutation that my Nekomata got off screen. You do not need Dodge Wind to fuse this guy up, and no, I did not want Bayreuth, that's for sure. I definitely want this guy. Because he's going to be very helpful. Now, who is Pyrojack? Who is this random magician-type persona? Well, he's the brother of Atlas's mascot, which is Jack Frost. And yeah, ooh, the persona has something with it. This is actually a very nice mechanic. And hey, Pyrojack leveled up because we have the Magician Arcana leveled about halfway. So when a persona has a heart next to its name, like that, like this, this persona has, once we learn every skill that it can learn, so basically just level it up to get every skill it can, which it just needs one more level, I believe. Actually, two. It will actually give us an item or an equipment. It's very handy. Not every persona can do that, but specific ones can. So if you get it, make sure you level it up. And that's actually kind of lucky, so I'm going to save really quickly. But after that, we're going to take on the next Tart Tartarus Guardian. Oh, really quickly. I want to... Um, <laughs> well, I guess we can do that later. But yeah, never mind. I need to save really quickly. What I was going to say is that we should probably get the quest, or the Elizabeth request, to get the next old document, but we're going to be getting the old document regardless. Now, you should probably take a couple of precautions before battling the next Tartarus boss. One of which is, um, well, I guess if you have uh, the Hermit persona, which I told you to get, because she's, she's alright, we're going to want to equip her because she has that auto Turakaja enabled, so we want to do that, so when we go into battle, we'll have a, a, a Turakaja already enabled, and yeah. Also, make sure to grab some disc poisons if you don't already have them. This next boss loves to use her poison attacks, and yep, it's the Change Relic. Its arcana is the Empress. Well, ain't that something, Misuru? Anyways, this is the Change Relic, the Empress uh, Tartarus Guardian. If you haven't noticed yet, we fought Priestess, we fought... Uh, I don't think we fought Magician yet. We fought Chariot. So this is the next one, the Empress, and that guard is not gonna do crap, because it resists most things. Yeah, mostly Garu. You can still, it doesn't have any weaknesses. This is a very challenging boss. It has like 800 HP or something like that. Might be 700, I don't really know. And its specialty is to kill Junpei, literally. It uses a lot of wind-based attacks, which is relatively bad. So, we may revive Junpei, I don't know, I'm just gonna go on Pyrojack though, and probably... Uh, well, we need definitely to get <laughs> Yukari to start healing us. And I guess Junpei can start healing too. What we need to do is, we need to use a Secunda. Because, those wind attacks are gonna eventually do a ton of damage, but if they don't, if they miss, well, we'll be good, basically. And yeah, Yukari's just gonna do her thing, start healing everybody up, but here comes the Garula, which will actually only do 6 damage to Yukari, so that's relatively good. The Empress does have physical attacks as well, but it rarely uses them. Its main specialty is honestly just a poison you, which it does with Poison Mist, which, if it happens, isn't the end of the world, but it's kind of annoying, and that is also annoying, increasing its defense. But it's whatever, we're just gonna basically just spam Aggie, and keep everyone healed up. And okay, our attack went down again. Let's use another Aggie. Since it's relatively debuffed, actually no, it's buffed since its defense has increased, its evasion is down though, and this is pretty much the entire boss fight. It really doesn't add any new skills to itself. You kind of just have to whittle down its HP bar and keep rapidly healing. That's kind of the name of the game here. And okay, let's think. Hmm. I don't think we should revive Junpei immediately. I think we can get by with just these three members. But I don't know. See, Junpei, he doesn't really do much to this boss. And here comes the piercing attack, which looks admittedly kind of funny. But yeah. Hmm. 
There really isn't much here to talk about, honestly. Let's just keep up our secundas, and when the secundas down, redo it. Woo. These boss fights are really, really long, but I feel like if I don't show them, it's kind of like belittling the game because, you know, it is a part of the game, and we should be able to. Yeah, we dodged it. Awesome. Having dodge wind isn't 100% required. It's not required at all. You can easily beat this boss without it. But if I have it, I'm going to use it. And. Uh, do I revive Junpei or not? Uh, nah, screw it. I'm just going to do a Secunda. Oh, that's already a fat. What? Okay, well, I guess I'll just use Aggie. <laughs> I was trying to think, like, uh, should I revive Junpei or do the Secunda? But... Either way, it's an important. Wow, we're getting really lucky because the boss is hitting Yukari with those attacks. And Awesome! Let's do the all-out attack! We got a critical hit! Heck yeah, Junpei. Actually, uh, <laughs> Akihiko. Good job getting that crit with your Sonic Punch. It's going to do clean 59 damage. Awesome. The numbers in Persona are relatively low, but I kind of understand why they do that. But, you know, whatever. It's so in the end of the game, you feel like you do a ton of damage, and wow. We can't really eat up a lot of those, but it's whatever. Akihiko and Yukari are going to be healing us pretty frivolously, so we should be good. All right. Aggie's coming out. So this Aggie should do more damage. As long as you do more damage than your teammates with their magic attacks, you should be okay. And here comes another Magaru. Ugh. Those do way too much damage. But we have heals and boss... I think the boss can heal, but I don't think he can heal very fast. So. Is that's going on? Alright. We have to put up our Secunda again. Now, Secunda may not be 100% necessary. You could get away with a Rakuja. Wait, I think it's called Rakaja. No, Rakaja. Which increases your defense, but I currently don't have any personas that have that. And oh boy. We are now poisoned. Poison status effect in Persona is how it functions. Actually, it doesn't function like Pokemon at all. You just get poisoned, and every turn you take a little bit of damage. But we have Dispoisons, which we've gotten through Tartarus and the Pharmacy and whatnot. And hey, Yukari even has one. So that's pretty handy. I do like how sometimes your party members in Persona games can have items too. So that's, I don't know. I always think that's kind of cool. Because, like, you know, they're not stupid. They're going to help themselves out too, you know? And yeah, you really. This is pretty much the battle. This is what all these really strong Tartarus bosses are going to be like. This is pretty much the last thing stopping us from getting to the next area. So all we have to do is blow everything on this one shadow, and then it's done. Then we can progress farther into Tartarus. So don't be afraid to like use your bead chains if you really, really need them. Uh, stuff like that. Your fusion spells, you know. And by the way, I haven't shown off a lot of fusion spells, just mostly because I don't feel like they're super helpful at this point in the game. There's a couple that I could recommend, but Cadenza really is just the, mo the best one early on, so, yeah. Maybe we'll do like a bonus video explaining every single fusion spell, but for the time being, yeah, we're still whittling down the spots. <laughs> it's almost kind of boring, but no, it's not really. So we could lose at any moment, so, yeah. And now his defense is dropped. He's using Poison Mist again, and only I got hit with it. Well, that's actually okay. Wow, you're gonna heal... You healed me for like 20 HP, dude. I mean, I'm, I mean, I don't care, but I'm probably sh you should probably should hit the boss. But hey, whatever. Just cleanse off the poison, and Yukari is a whole 10 damage. We really need to upgrade her bow. Yeah. I'll do that later. Gosh, I probably should switch Akiko to offense, but uh, then we might lose. So I'll just go for Nagi. <laughs> and so far, the boss line really hasn't missed that much. Maybe we should stop doing Sekunda. Well, I don't know. It kind of does help. Let's see if someone he misses here. Wow, we hit all of them. Full of crap, dude. Dang, Aki was almost out of SP. But, mm, eh, it should be okay. Let's go for another Aggie. It's getting really low. Less than 25% of its HP remains. So if we just keep using attacks every turn. Yeah, J if Junpei could stay alive, this boss fight would have been much easier, but whatever. And here comes the Desperation Heal. Not really too big of a problem since it was only for like... I think 40 was it or 60? Doesn't really matter. And our team can do way more damage than that. Unless I miss. What the heck? Okay, you carded 10. That's gonna do like nothing. Oh gosh, did over half. Gosh. 
This this boss is like pulling nails, man. Just let me beat you. Already have done it like a billion times. Just let me stinking get past you and go further in this stupid behind maze. Ugh. So aggravating. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, we're healed up to full. So we should be able to dodge this. No, we didn't dodge it. Darn it. I swear, half this boss fight is literally just healing the damage that the enemy does. But it doesn't matter. I guess having a persona that does resist wind would help as well. But, uh, you don't really need it. I'm pretty confident that we can beat this thing without having that. And wow, you missed every single poison mist. Sucks to be you. Poison! Nah, that's the punch. The Sonic Punch is gonna go and get a critical hit. Now we're gonna do all the auto attack, and I don't think that'll be enough to end the battle. But it's gonna do a good chunk of damage. Yeah, 59, not bad. So one more Aggie, and this should be over, finally. Goodbye, Change Relic. I hate you so much. Keep up the good work. Yeah, we did it. Awesome. And as a result, we get Coin of Queen, which is used to, well, ugh, it's more of the antique stuff, which we'll get into later. And we did it! That is the last boss of Arca. Thank goodness. And I really should revive Junpei. Let's do that real quick. I don't really, I don't mind wasting a bomb of life, because if you go, if you, okay, so this is what happens, alright? Your character is unconscious and you leave the floor, he's going to be instantly be tired. So, that's bad. If you go down to the lobby, you're, he's gonna go back home, which you obviously don't want. And Trezesto gems, those just send you back to the beginning of uh, Tartarus, so that's kind of handy. In case death is staring you down, you know. So basically, now that the Tartarus Guardian has been destroyed, uh, all we have to do is make it up to the last floor of this block, and you know, just get the old document, which oh, well, the stairs are over there, so let's just hop up there. Wee. And yeah, I know that was kind of literally the whole episode is taking down that boss, but that's the game. These bosses aren't easy. I consider some of these Tartarus Guardians to actually be harder than the final boss. Yeah, I'm not kidding when I say that. Let's see what this enemy is. Might as well have one random battle in the video. Why the heck not? It's these guys. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to fight them. Let's be honest. They're all weak to... I think they're all weak to uh, either fire or ice. Can't remember. Doesn't really matter though. Ooh. Treasure chests don't mind me, and that's a that's actually not a lot of yen, but hey, I'll take anything at this point. We need yen to summon more personas, gosh dang it, and there's only a few more floors to go. Great, Mitsuru, you're doing a good job. Let's take down this dude. See, he's pain in my butt. No, these are the things weak to fire. Let's just try and get out. I don't really want to fight anything right. You're being targeted. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Oh crap, we're on Pyrojack. We're actually gonna be weak to these. Oh goodness, this is terrible. I could easily die here. This is super bad. Okay, he lived. Let's just run. I mean, it's worth a shot. Okay, good. We all lived. Awesome. So that was kind of a mistake. I could have easily just maragied all those things and got away, but you know. That's the risk you take sometimes when you play Persona. I'm just stretching because I'm. You know, I'm a little tired today, guys. I'm just, you know, mass recording some Persona. Because honestly, like, this is this is a game. The only downside to LPing this game is the editing, in my opinion. I could sit down and play this game for hours. But when it comes to the editing board, I'm just like... And hey, we're here! Awesome! <laughs> we are on Arca 40. And yeah, there's this place looks pretty cool to me. But yeah, let's return to the entrance and turn in that old document since that is a Liz quest and she'll give us a free item, basically. I think this was the last day we could have done this and still got the old document, like, quest. So that's pretty good. Let's go inside the velvet room and turn that in. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to take care of in Tartarus for today. We got up to our next threshold and welcome to the velvet room. How may I you? The moon grows full. Yeah, and only two more days till our next encounter with the full moon. And I'm going to register these guys real quick since I'm already here. Might as well do that. Okay. Now let's check the uh, accept the requests. Uh, yeah, that was the last day we could do this. So, second old document. Uh, Yeah, we just exit out here and she's going to give it to us nice. And we get another bomb of life. So it's like Junpei never even died. We got back the item we used to revive him. So, nothing really lost in there. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to do inside of Tartarus. But I'm just going to save really quickly and then probably head back to the dorm. Okay, now that I have saved, let us return to the dorm since, well, I'm kind of done in Tartarus. I don't want to fight anymore. And honestly, there aren't really any enemies that are going to give good EXP anymore. So I guess we should just prepare for the 
full moon. And today is Sunday, everybody. Now, what are we going to do on Sunday? Well, pretty much the same old, same old, right? No, you cannot be more wrong, because today we're going to do something a little bit special. No, we won't be talking to Maya. We actually have to increase the strength arcana a tiny bit. But how exactly do we do that? Well, there's something that I haven't really explained yet. Basically, you can go to the shrine whenever you want and increase or add some points, basically to an arcana that you're trying to raise so you don't have to do an st now so you do this all the time no just follow the guy just follow me just do what i do but yeah it is at the shrine so let's go to naganaki and okay so this is a really confusing part there are two shrines two there's one like right in front of me and then there's one over here and what the this guy's talking to but anyways this is the shrine that we were talking about don't do this one over here do this one over here okay now, this is the Relationship Fortune Shrine. And yeah, blah, blah, blah. Would you like to draw one? Yes, we will. This is only 100 yen. And which social link should we imagine? Let's check our female classmates. And let's select Yuko. We're going to give 10 points to Yuko. And yeah, you hear a divine message. Blessings to the believer. And you became much closer to Yuko without actually doing anything. It's very handy, especially since we're trying to get a little more... Intimate was thinking she would hero, so yeah. That's pretty much all we're gonna do in this episode, though. We took on a very obnoxious boss. I hate that boss so much. We did a whole bunch of other crap, but in the next episode, let's play Persona 3 FES. We're going to take on the next Shadow Boss. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys then. Bye.